Through what potential in volts do you accelerate a proton so that it is going 0.85C? Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, we are going to... I think the approach here is to take a proton and figure out what its dilated mass is when it's going that fast. Okay, and if we do this in, if we do the mass in electron volts, then we will, the difference in mass will be the voltage that we actually have to accelerate it through. Okay, so let me, let me just show you. Okay, the first thing is to find the rest mass of a proton is 938 million electron volts, right? Okay, so the new mass is going to be that rest mass. And we have to dilate it, right? So it's going to be over the square root of 1 minus 0.85c squared over c squared, right? I get kind of tired of writing that, but you know, that's that's what it really is. So not always a good thing to touch base. So that divided by square root of 1 minus 0.85. Secretly in my calculator, I'm just going 0.85 squared. So it's, it's dilated mass is 1780.62 MeV, right? So its kinetic energy is, its kinetic energy is, its kinetic energy is just simply gonna be the dilated mass minus the rest mass. And since we're in electron volts already, we don't need to worry about the, the C squared, right? So I'm going to go 1780.62 minus 938. So I'm just going to subtract 938. And I get that it's, uh, that it's 842.62 million electron volts of kinetic energy. Now, how do you get 842.62 million electron volts of kinetic energy. Well, you accelerate an electron through 842.62 million volts because it has one electron charge, okay? One electron accelerated through one volt is one electron volt. One proton accelerated through 20 volts is 20 electron volts, right? So this is a proton that's been accelerated through 842.62 million volts, right? So that's 843 times 10 to the sixth volts, which isn't proper scientific notation, it would be 8.43 times 10 to the eighth volts would be how you should write it, but you know, that's true too.